Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stanley's How Parable. How sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? What? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Okay. Be careful with time from now on. Done. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, I never answered the phone. I think that's the only other thing I can do over here, right? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Ooh, I could also Perhaps jump he off. wanted to stop the, by the employee lounge first, the just to admire it. Right? That's the other Standing thing I can do. Standing in this incredible room, Other than Stanley both. for the first, but eager to get back though. to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. I'm gonna go kill myself. Again. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I'm gonna land on a truck. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've but Yay. He's to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do. Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Yay. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Good. They should. Cause I am. Okay, now I'm gonna go answer the phone. Okay, let's go answer your phone. Hey, it's a phone call again. Hello. This is a Hello. recorded message scheduled either by you or a person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. Of recorded messages. Yeah, I know. You already told me. So, bye-bye. We're gonna go answer another phone. When Stanley no. came to a set no. of two open no. doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting I know. room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I know. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee yeah, lounge yeah, first, yeah, the just lounge. to admire it. Yeah, that, oh. Oh, I just blew Stanley it so like pity. Butterflies in his stomach. Oh, fuck butterflies. Giddy, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first mm. open door on his left. On my left? Okay. Hey, look, an open door to my left. Okay. Stanley was so bad at following directions. Hey, wait a minute, I was the last one five years ago. Who's door there? Okay. Now Stanley, I will follow I everything you've said. Oh, look at that. Foot here. I'm not sure What's the lights really being like that? I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the I wonder fact if that door is ever open. The story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Yeah. Someone you've forgotten about. Yeah. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Okay, I'm going to answer the this phone, This is though. it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. Don't worry, I will. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. Hello? Is this the pizza man? I live right down the street from the pizza place. Ooh, where are we? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Four two okay, seven. There we go. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Oh my God. Did you forget that there's a jump scare? A <laughs> yes, I did. Their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. Women love me. Wait, I'm trying on. to get you to see something. Come inside. See what? Let me show you what's really going on here. What's really going on? This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. I already died like three times. Good morning, employee. Press RT on your gamepad. Uh, Stanley is quite a boring okay. fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Yeah. Press RT. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Yep. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. So now baby, uh, he's going home. Now he won't he's get down and dirty tonight. To work. One might even feel sorry with the narrator. Him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. 
From behind yeah. his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions hey, wait, into desk. the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Wait a minute. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that Wait one day while it's work, not become he my up from his desk office, is to it? realize that all of his co workers, his boss, everyone in the building had Wait. suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. Yeah, at last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. Oh, I still got my baby. Down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. Oh, line. And down another was a game with a baby. Yellow and he baby. called it the Stanley Parable. A yellow line? I haven't seen a yellow line yet. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it baby, again. Though. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope line? that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path. Mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. I'm playing like a million more times, okay. But there is no Whoa. answer. How could there Maybe. possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Hey, Nothing has changed. You can't even get to those files. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him can look at himself? See what I, see? I question a lot of things. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want. I, I waited for you, but man. I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. Okay. I'm compelled to. I must. Okay. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And what? Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tr Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay. We're going. It's we're only eight minutes. We're going. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley yes. just needed to get to the meeting room. Yes. And from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Yes, the meeting room. Okay. I have no idea how much more I need to play this game. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Well, I didn't turn off the brain control. Mm. Yet there was not a single person here. I also didn't go down the escape room. Feeling a wave room. of disbelief. Why do you still have that decided locked? to go up to his boss's office. Hope coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. The moment he entered his manager's office, Two, eight, Stanley four, five. froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Could he really be all alone? My this was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell Fuck. to his knees, 
bursting into half My game moans, up, hold half sobs, the guttural retching of life from a man denied any hope, any reason. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story okay. as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. I know. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Yeah, that's some good music. Hope it's not copyrighted. That's nice of an extra. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, yeah. Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Hey, what's that? Box. Oh, I can. Okay, let's move on. Oh, what's that? Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Stu, is there any, um, where, what's that yellow line you're talking about, man? I would actually really like to know what that yellow line was. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read nope. Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Mm, I already met it like ten times. I'm perfectly fine meeting it again. The door behind him was not shut. Really? Stanley still had ah, every opportunity care. to turn around and get back on track. At this point, mm, Stanley was making a conscious, uh, concerted no. effort to walk forward. Yes. And willingly confront his death. Why not? Why not? That seems fun. I already did it like a few times. Where am I? As the machine am I moving? Into motion, oh. Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. Oh. It reflected that his life had been of no consequence what? whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. No. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow oh, vision of what I can't jump. I forgot. Perhaps his death was of no great oh, loss. Screw it. I like plucking the eyeballs from a blind Let's watch that back six match. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end yeah. to his brief I'm and shattered it. life. There we go, Stanley. Yeah. Hi. Oh, wait, what? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the I machine was? crushed every bone in his body, I dead? killing him instantly. I'm dead? Okay. Boxes! Yeah, nothing to do with this. Okay. The Stanley Parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as Ooh. ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? What's this? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, Ooh. death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Nature paintings. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley see was that already dead from the moment he hit start? Really? Really? 